Hello world, this is Tommy Haywood coming to you from Leesburg, Florida, the Sunshine State. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today is Monday, <clears throat> April 20th, 2020. It's 81 degrees on the outside, way, on the way up to 84. It's cloudy and it's rainy, but the sun is still shining above the clouds. Have you ever been hungry? I remember hearing Jed Clampett years ago on the Beverly Hillbillies TV sitcom make the statement, I'm hungrier than a woodpecker with a sore beak. Now that's hungry. Or is it? I'm not talking about being hungry in that sense. I'm talking about being hungry in the sense of being at the point of death because of starvation and literally dying because of thirst. Have you ever been in that situation? Jesus used the metaphors of hunger and thirst to describe those <clears throat> who are at the point of perishing spiritually. Let's look at the passage, then the process the passage describes, and then ponder its implications for us. The passage is Matthew 5, 3 through 6. Verse 3 says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Verse 4, Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Verse 5, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. And verse 6, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. The process. One is poor in spirit or bankrupt spiritually, in verse 3, and they mourn over their total inability to deal with their own sins. Verse 4, they are meek or willing to submit to the Lord's will and bring their strength under control of the Lord. In verse 5, verse 6, they hunger and thirst after righteousness. The words Jesus used are words that were used to describe one who is starving to death and perishing from thirst spiritually. Not just one who has missed a meal and is thirsty for a drink of water, and just what are they spiritually bankrupt, mourning, meek, hungering and thirsting, people hungering and thirsting for? They want the righteousness only God can give. They know they are perishing without it. The righteousness of God involves being right with God, right with yourself, and right with others. We become right with God when we believe and obey the gospel of Christ. In Romans 1 verse 16, Paul tells us that the gospel is God's power to save. And in verse 17, he tells us the gospel is God's means whereby we can be righteous. In Romans 6, 17 and 18, we learn that God be thanked that you were the slaves of sin, yet you've obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine that was delivered you. And having been set free from sin, you became slaves of righteousness. We are right with others and with ourselves when we deny ungodliness and worldly lust and live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present age. Titus 2, 11 through 15. All this is possible because God has revealed his grace to us and we are spiritually bankrupt and, and have no way of saving ourselves and God's grace reigns through righteousness. Romans 5, verse 21. The pondering. We're concerned, and rightly so, about our physical health and following the governmental guidelines we've received to keep from getting COVID-19. What about our spiritual health? Are we willing to take a spiritual checkup? Are we willing to follow God's guidelines as revealed in the New Testament? The answer to four questions will reveal to us whether or not this is so. Number one, do we realize how totally bankrupt we are spiritually? Number two, do we mourn over our inability to save ourselves from the terrible daily disease of sin? Number three, are we willing to totally submit to the authority of Christ? And finally, are we starving and thirsting to death for lack of righteousness? If not, perhaps we become complacent and don't realize just how sick we really are. Ponder this, those who are poor in spirit will enter the kingdom. Those who mourn will be comforted. Those who are meek will inherit the earth, and those who hunger and thirst for righteousness will be filled. These four qualities, poor in spirit, mourning, meekness, and hungering and thirsting for righteousness, are not four things found individually in four different people. They all exist in the same person. Are you such a person? I close as I began. Have you ever been hungry? I mean really hungry. Until next time, this is Tommy Haywood wishing for you a very pleasant and safe good day.